Hey everyone it is time we discuss the upcoming chapter of Dragon Ball Super which is chapter 31. Some scans are already out. However, they aren't translated yet, so if you're a reader of the Dragon Ball Super manga, you might have to wait for a day or two before you get to read it. Anyway, today I'm going to be discussing a very interesting step that Toyotaro has taken with this month's Dragon Ball Super manga. But before that, I want to let you guys know that this post contains big spoilers from the manga and potential spoilers from after the Tournament of Power. So, if you're not okay with spoilers, I suggest you don't go any further. But, if you don't mind a couple of spoilers, then let's get started. The Dragon Ball Super manga is at the point where Goku's recruiting members for the Tournament of Power. In Chapter 31, he goes to meet 18, Krillin, and even 17. We all know Oob's name comes up during the recruitment for the Tournament of Power. Dent mentions him, and Goku himself talks about Oob as well. Oob has been reincarnated as a human after Kid Buu died, and fans of Dragon Ball Z know that Goku ends up meeting, and later training him after the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament. However, we have never really seen Oob in the Dragon Ball Super anime. Toyotaro, the writer for the Dragon Ball Super manga has changed things a little though. In the manga, we actually get to see Oob. That's right Oob has made his appearance in the manga. And Goku looks at him from Kami's lookout. Oob is a young boy right now, and according to Dent, he is strong. But Goku thinks he isn't ready for the Tournament of Power yet. However, Dent does ask Goku to train him sometime, so that suggests we I'd see Oob in the future of the Dragon Ball Super series. Towards the end, Oob will become a very important character. We all know that, as he basically trained with Goku for a very long time. But even then, it is possible that before that, Oob becomes the focus of a story arc. Maybe he is even involved in one. At this moment, it is all pure speculation, but I would really like to see that. Another interesting thing to notice about Oob was that he also has a sibling with him in the manga. I think that's new information, as nobody really knew he had a sibling. I'm really interested in Oob and his character, and I would love to see more of him. The next big villain in Dragon Ball Super has been confirmed hey everyone today. I'm going to share some big inform that just came out with you guys. But before I begin the article I want to warn you all of potential spoilers. This post will contain spoilers from VJump and if you don't want to be spoiled I suggest you stop reading. But, if you don't mind spoiling yourself with Dragon Ball Super content, then let's get right into it. Dragon Ball Super is in the universe survival saga right now and has been for months now. This arc has been one of the very best Dragon Ball Super arcs that we've had, and it only sets up better things for the future of the series. The tournament of Power won't last long now, and if I had to guess, I would say it will definitely end by April 2018. After the Tournament of Power is over, Dragon Ball Super will continue. There have been rumors going around that the show will end once the Tournament of Power ends. But that's not going to happen. Dragon Ball Super is one of the most popular anime right now and no way are TOEI going to stop producing.